awesome. In this video, I will be unboxing Airborne, the expansion to Old School Tactical Volume 2 designed by Shane Logan. Right now in the Flying Pig Game Store, you can pick up your copy of Airborne for $10 off in honor of the 80th anniversary of D-Day. While Airborne doesn't cover D-Day itself, it does cover the efforts leading up to D-Day and also on D-Day behind the scenes happening with the U.S. paratroopers. If you're interested in picking up a copy of Airborne, I have posted a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Airborne expansion for Old School Tactical Volume 2 brings in the elite paratroopers of the United States. You as a player get to drop in the steadfast paratroopers behind the enemy lines on the dark days leading up to D-Day. You get to control the paratroopers of the 82nd and the 101st Airborne Divisions. In Airborne, you get to fight in the fields and the streets of the historically based map saint Mary Iglesias, France. Don't forget that you do need Old School Tactical Volume 2 as the base game to play with Airborne. Airborne is only compatible with Old School Tactical Volume 2. In this expansion, you are going to get one huge 30 by 41 inch mounted map with one inch hexes, one sheet of counters that are 3 quarters inch and also 7 8 inches. You will also get a scenario book that contains six new scenarios only for Airborne and then also a box to put it all in. The full color scenario book comes with six scenarios just for Airborne. On the back, Shane has listed the amount of turns that each scenario takes, which is a great quick reference if you're trying to decide which scenario you'd like to play. Each scenario has a description at the beginning and the date from when it is based on, and this just makes it so exciting and makes me really want to play. I'm going to read you one from The Big Drop, which takes place on June 6, 1944 in Sainte-Marie-Iglesse. Hours before the beach landings on D-Day, thousands of paratroopers were dropped into occupied France in the dead of night. One of the primary objectives of the 82nd Airborne Division was the capture of St. Mary Iglesias. The German garrison was initially caught off by guard, but the surprise didn't last. It just sounds so exciting. I mean, what a tense time. I mean, all war is tense, but this in particular is just really exciting. And all of the descriptions at the beginning of the scenarios just get you excited to play each scenario. Next up, we have the counters. The counters are the same great quality that you expect from the Old School Tactical series and all Flying Pig games, honestly. Um, they're incredibly thick, die cut, beautiful. The planes and the vehicles are all three quarter inches. And then the rest of the counters are going to be seven eighth inches. Um, the art has so much detail on there, as you can see. Um, Great counters, and I love seeing these C-47s on here. Super cool. So next up is the map. I probably say this with every single game we make with Flying Pig games, but especially with the Old School Tactical series, the maps are just by far my favorite part other than playing the game itself. Uh, and this map is no exception. It is huge. It is 30 by 41 inches. It is mounted, and the art is gorgeous. So I'm sure the rest of you Old School Tactical fans agree with me. So if you could comment below what your favorite map is from the Old School Tactical series, I'm really curious what everybody's is. I would say mine is either the winter map from the Old School Tactical Volume 1 or the Stalingrad map. Um, I wish we would come out with a reprint of that because that map was super cool. And I know it was really popular with all the Old School Tactical fans. Yeah, another great, gorgeous map of saw mary glace for you to add to your old school tactical collection um and those of you who are familiar with old school tactical will recognize the iconography on the edges um, where shane puts in the different structures the different terrain types um so it's a little bit of a player's aid reference on the map itself also tracking casualties um impulse points which are really the lifeblood of the old school tactical series and um the different turns so another great map from the Old School Tactical series. So that was a super short and sweet unboxing for Airborne, another really great game in the Old School Tactical series. Thanks again for watching. Um, like I said before, you do need the base game of Old School Tactical Volume 2 to play with Airborne. But if you already have Old School Tactical Volume 2, like I said earlier in the video, Airborne is $10 off in our store right now in honor of the 80th anniversary of D-Day. So that brings this box that I showed you and everything inside to a whopping $35.
which is a great deal. All you have to do is pay for the 35 and the shipping after that, if you already have volume two to play with. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.